श्लोक सिक्स टू टेन युधामश्च विक्रांत उत्तमो जाश्च वीरवान्न सौभद्रो द्रौपदेयश्च सर्व एवं महारथ अस्माक विशिष्टाए तानी बोध द्विजोत्तम नायका मम सैन्य स संज्ञा तवीमित भवान भीष्मश्च कर्ण कृपश्चा समय अश्वत्थमकर्ण सोम दत्तस्तथव अने बहवा शूरा मदर्थे त्यक्त जीविता नानाशस्त्र प्रहरण सर्वे युद्धवशारदा अपर्याप्त तदस्माक बल भीष्मक्षित पर्याप्त बल भीमाक्षित इन पांच श्लोकों में दुर्योधन ने पहले तो बताया कि पांडवों की सेना में कौन है फिर वो कहते हैं कि हमारी सेना में भी वीरों की कमी नहीं है इतने बड़े बड़े वीर हैं जिन्हें कोई हरा नहीं सकता अर्थात दुर्योधन कहते हैं कि हमारा जीतना तो निश्चित ही है नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट दैट इज सेल सो इन एटीन जर्मन बॉटनिस्ट शील्डन स्टडी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट सेल्स एंड सेट दैट the uh, they the tissue con- composed different type of plant cells and said that they consist of different kind of cells called the tissues and uh, similarly at that same time in 1839 uh, a british zoologist shavan studied different types of animal cells and said that the plasma membrane is the characteristic of the animal cell uh, is present in animal cell and uh, he also con- uh, said that the uh, he also studied plant cells and said that the cell wall is the characteristic of plant cells and cell membrane is present in all the cells and uh, he also studied and said that the uh, cell the animal consists of cells and compound of the cells and to, uh, they together formulated the cell theory but there was some fault because they were uh, they was not able to explain that uh, how new cells are formed and in 1855 rodolf virco has given the statement that is omni cellular e cellular means pre uh, cells new cells formed from the pre existing cells so the in cell theory fine in cell final cell theory two statements are there that is any organism consists of cell and compound of cells and the second is cells omni cellula e cellula uh, new cells uh, form from the pre existing cells then after that the 3 to 5 micrometer length of bacteria uh, and uh, of uh, point point 1 micrometer is uh, length of the mycoplasma and of virus it varies from 0.02 Point point zero two two point two, and uh, the length of a typical eukaryotic cell is twenty two ten to twenty micrometer. Seven micrometer is the diameter of RBC. Largest cell is the egg of ostrich. Longest cell of human body is the neuron. And uh, now that is ribosome. In a prokaryote, it is seventy uh, times. 70s and in eukaryotes 80s in 70s uh, the size is 50 nm to 20 nm and uh, it is divided into the two subunits that is the 50s and 30s and similarly 80s is divided into the two subunit that is 60 and 30 60 and 40 so lysosome uh, is uh, has hydrolytic enzyme and it has the enzyme for the digestion of carb protein fat and nucleic acid then uh, about the gerd system what is gerd uh, the endomembrane system that is it include the endo endoplasmic reticulum then the golgi apparatus then lysosome and vacuoles vacuole form uh, by the fusion of vesicles and uh, now first come to the endoplasmic reticulum it's of two types that is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of cisterni and uh, uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum is of cisterni and smooth ret- uh, endoplasmic reticulum is of tubules and uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum is actively uh, involved in different type of functions like glycosidation glycosylation and uh, 
to formation of Golgi apparatus also. It's the function of a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And uh, on the surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum, there is a ribosome. 70S, um, 80S ribosome is attached on the surface. Then uh, next move to the that is uh, Golgi apparatus and uh, it was di discovered in 1918-98 by the Camillo Golgi and by he discovered it by the staining because uh, the refractive index of the Golgi apparatus and the of uh, uh, that is uh, the cell sap or crystal colloidal solution which is present is just um, was same and that's why it was not uh, we were not able to discover it with the microscope or electron microscope and we discovered. At with the uh, heat discovered by the staining with the sil I think silver nitrate solution was there stain and uh, then uh, uh, just wait diameter 0 0.5 to 1 micrometer and Golgi apparatus also consists of cisterni then uh, after Golgi apparatus there is uh, uh, lysosome we discussed then then come to the mitochondria and uh, it is sausage cylindrical shaped and uh, double mem membrane bound and uh, its uh, length is 1 to 1 4.1 micrometer and diameter is uh, from I think 0.2 to 1 micrometer with the average of 0.5 micrometer is yes, 0.2 to 1 and uh, then uh, there is a uh, in inner compartment there is dense homologous substance and uh, there are enzymes for the respiration are present and uh, here F1, F0 particle is also present and then move to the next uh, that is the cell, cell membrane and uh, it has uh, it was just uh, the most accepted model of the cell membrane was given in 1972 by the center and Nicholson and uh, then it consists of uh, then come to the cell wall and in plant cell wall consists of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin and in algae it consists of cellulose galactan manan and mineral like minerals like calcium carbonate etc and uh, uh, cytoskeleton uh, in eukaryotes there is a uh, leaving cytoskeleton filament proteinous filamentous structure called a cytoskeleton of uh, microtubule microfilament and of intermediate filament it helps in the, it gives a shape protection and uh, uh, helps in the movement also and provide mechanical strength also then move to the that is nucleus and in 1831 it was discovered by the robert brown uh, it has uh, the double membrane and uh, nuclear pores are present varying number and uh, uh, the inter nuclear space inter nuclear space between the two membrane it is 50 to 100 nm and uh, it was uh, later it was stained by the basic dye and named uh, Fleming named it the nucleus I think chromatin uh, has given the term chromatin and it consists of nucleoplasm chromatin and the nucleolus nucleolus is not independent organelle anymore and uh, uh, in nucleolus is the site of uh, formation of RB uh, that is the ribosomes which is uh, composed of uh, uh, RNA and protein then uh, in there is the chromosome uh, four types of chromosome are there that is the metacentric submetacentric telocentric and acrocentric metacentric if centromere is present uh, and at the center submetacentric if centromere is present uh, just above the center acrocentric if centromere is pre present just below the center and telocentric if centromere is present at the end it's called so it was and uh, if we'll see then wait uh, sometimes a few uh, chromosomes have non-staining secondary constriction and at a constant region and it becomes the uh, cause of uh, formation of nucleolus then uh, after come to the inclusion bodies in the prokaryote uh, like cyanophysian granule phosphate granule uh, uh, they uh, reserve food uh, material stored in this and in green purple algae in green pulp uh, green blue green algae and another it is present 
then the largest organelle of the cell is the plastid and it is of three types that is the chloroplast chromoplast leucoplast chloroplast has chlorophyll and the carotenoid and it is responsible for the catching of the light then chromoplast it has the fat soluble uh, pigment that is the carotenoids car uh, carotene and xanthophyll then uh, leucoplast these are largest plastid and uh, uh, colorless leucoplast is of three types that, that is the amyloplast alluroplast and uh, elioplast amyloplast means uh, store starch alluroplast store protein and elioplast store um, fat then uh, after the second largest is the nucleus and we discuss about it then come to mitochondria we discussed then about cytoskeleton cytoskeleton also discussed and then the come to the locomotory organ that is the cilia and flagella that is cilia and flagella consists of the nine uh, has nine plus two arrangement it's of uh, we're talking about the exoneme not about the origin or basal body so nine plus two arrangement nine duplet fiber having the uh, two dynein arm uh, a and b and there are linkers present two duplet fibers are also interlinked by the linker and there is radial spoke through which they are uh, uh, attached with the central sheath then there is a pair of uh, uh, central microtubule and uh, then next is the about the basal body it's called uh, centrosome it's a uh, uh, two cylindrical and uh, uh, norm at perpend perpendicular to each other then uh, cartwheel like arrangement and a b c and during the formation of the uh, when it becomes basal body the c uh, disappears um i think uh, then the micro body spherosome peroxisome and um, glyoxisome uh, peroxisome for the uh, it has uh, catalyst enzyme and for the breakdown of H2O2 into water and oxygen then uh, glyoxisome it is a modified it is modified peroxisome and it is found only in plants for the conversion of fat to uh, carb during seed uh, growth then uh, next uh, spherosome it store it stores fat then come to the next uh, that is we will going to discuss about the chemical coordination and integration not the whole chapter just as uh, some of the topics so if uh, so endocrine glands so earlier the definition of hormone was like uh, any substance which uh, originate from the endocrine gland ductless gland and uh, move move to the dis, uh, distant locations so it was given but uh, the new definition is it's a ha hormone is a non nutrient chemical and uh, produced in trace amount so it was a definition because uh, many other organs many uh, organs are there which are not uh, which are mixocrine and uh, they secrete small amount of a hormone and they are Uh, show endocrine and exocrine function both so some of the endocrine gland pituitary gland then uh, pineal gland pineal gland pituitary gland in the bony cavity that is the cella torsica then pineal gland in the uh, i think uh, dorsal region of the forebrain then uh, thyroid gland parathyroid thymus um pancreas adrenal gland and gonads so come to the hypothalamus it is the basal part of the di diencephalon that is the forebrain and it has a group of neurosecretory cells called the nuclei and it secretes uh, it synthesizes and secretes hormone and it regulate the function of the pituitary gland like uh, uh, two types of hormones it secrete that is one stimulatory in function and the second is the inhibitory the example of stimulatory that is the gonadotropin gnrh uh, it acts on the pituitary gland and uh, stimulate the production of the uh, gonadotropins second is the somatostatin it's uh, 
an habituin function when uh, it act on the pituitary gland it uh, stops the production of or checks the production of the growth hormone then uh, it uh, it has a cells which uh, secrete which synthesize and secrete hormone form in the uh, hypothalamus then it uh, moves to the passes through the exon and uh, then uh, through the portal circulatory system it goes to the pituitary gland and there it act on that uh, it is for the anterior pituitary and uh, it regulate posterior pituitary directly uh, so these were the some points and uh, uh, let me yeah then some of the points about the pituitary gland and it is located in the bony cavity called the cellar trussica and then next is the it is attached to the hypothalamus by a stalk and it is anteriorly it's of two types that is the anterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis adenohypophysis is divided into the two that is the pars distalis and pars intermedia in humans both are pars distalis and pars intermedia parts distally secretes the hormone that is synthesized and secretes the hormone GH growth hormone PRL prolactin and uh, TSH thyroid stimulating hormone FSH LH ACTH adrenocorticotropin uh, hormone then parts intermedia secrete the hormone that is single hormone MSH melanocyte stimulating hormone and uh, in neurohypophysis parts nervosa secretes two hormones and uh, basically uh, it is by the uh, hypothalamus oxytocin and vasopressin then uh, their use and what uh, and some of the abnormality that is if the growth hormone is secreted in excess amount then it lead to the uh, gigantism in le if less in amount then it will lead to the uh, after gigantic uh, pituitary dwarfism and uh, if in uh, mid age or in adult age the growth hormone will uh, be unbalanced or excess in amount then it will lead to the acromegaly and it will cause the brain to dysfunction and uh, sometimes it is uh, and it uh, can cause death also and uh, most of the time it remain unaffected and uh, uh, until the symptoms are visible externally and uh, uh, in this in acromegaly facial expression or uh, facial changes facial changes are there then uh, after growth hormone come to the prolactin that is it is synthesized and is secreted by the uh, prolactin uh, helps in the development of the mammary gland and the production of milk in that gland then uh, and oxytocin is responsible for the ejection of milk prolactin for the production of milk oxytocin for the ejection of milk then uh, after prolactin there is the thyroid stimulating hormone and uh, it act on the thyroid gland and uh, helps in the production of thyroid t t3 and t4 hormone and uh, if uh, thyroid hormone will also be in excess or in less amount if it is in less amount uh, and there will be the goiter and hypothyroidism will be there and uh, then then follicle stimulating hormone it in female it act on the ovary and uh, on the follicles and it is responsible for the development and growth of the follicles and their maturation and LH in females act uh, helps in the ovulation and act on the graphene follicle and after the ovulation it maintain the corpus luteum which uh, formed from the graphene follicle then in male FSH LH act on the uh, interstitial cells or the ledic cells and it is responsible for the production of hormone androgen androgen and FSH regulate the process of spermatogenesis then uh, next uh, ACTH adrenocorticotrophin hormone and uh, it is a steroid hormone and uh, helps in the production of glucocorticoid from the cortex adrenal cortex then uh, 
pineal gland and it is loca located posterior to the uh, forebrain it, uh, and it is uh, secretes the hormone that is the uh, melanocyte I think melatonin hormone melatonin and uh, it is responsible for the to make uh, rhythm for 24 hour sleep wake cycle then body temperature and uh, basal metabolism menstrual cycle defense mechanism and these are the some of the functions regulated thyroid uh, it consists of two lobes on either side of the trachea and they are uh, connected by the connective tissue that is the isthmus and iodine uh, they secrete uh, hormone and the iodine is the structural part of the uh, t3 and t4 thyroid then uh, if uh, uh, thyroid is is less in amount then uh, there is there will be goiter and hypothyroidism will be there then come to the uh, one topic that is the ets or oxidative phosphorylation electron transport system that is in this four complex works and uh, it is uh, and uh, these are complex 1 to 4 are linked with the complex 5 with uh, for the production of atp and because since this oxygen is used that's why this is called also called oxidative phosphorylation and uh, then complex 1 is called the NADH dehydrogenase complex second is called the succinate dehydrogenase because it accept electron from the succinate when uh, in citric cycle I think uh, succinic acid is oxidized then third complex is the complex cytochrome BC1 fourth is the um, cytochrome uh, let me check cytochrome fourth is the cytochrome c oxidase and fifth is the atp synthetase complex so cytochrome first uh, complex first nadh dehydrogenase except electron from the nadh2 and uh, nadh2 changes into nad and it accept electron uh, then fn uh, fmn then iron sulfur conjugated protein then it gives uh, finally electron to the ubiquinone and it's a movable and it is present within the inner membrane movable protein and uh, it change after accepting electron it changes into the uh, uh, uqh2 becomes reduced and then it gives electron to the co complex third that is the cytochrome bc1 it has a, a cytochrome it gives electron cytochrome b then uh, iron sulfur conjugated protein then the c1 complex c1 and it uh, gives electron to the cytochrome c means we can see that ubiquinone finally gives electron to the cytochrome c uh, through the complex third and cytochrome c is also movable uh, small protein and uh, found outer side of the inner membrane then uh, next uh, um, cytochrome uh, sorry, uh, complex second it is succinate dehydrogenase uh, it except from the succinic acid uh, and changes to the fumaric uh, here the oxidation occurs and it changes to fumaric acid and uh, uh, it has a, a cytochrome uh, that is a a3 and uh, two copper atoms that is uh, and it accept electron and then it also gives electron to the cytochrome c and finally uh, their uh, proton gradient is maintained and uh, uh, when proton gradient break and cytochrome uh, complex fifth that is atp uh, synthetase uh, consists of two protein part that is f0 and f1 f0 is the uh, structural part and embedded in the inner membrane and it has the uh, channel it forms a channel and wh when uh, proton passes for the production of one ATP two uh, proton passes from this channel and when the two proton passes from this channel and it is related with the or connected with the uh, catalytic site of the F1 thus there is formation of ATP and finally the complex 4 gives electron to the uh, water uh, oxygen and after oxygen after uh, accepting electron and proton uh, changes into the water so um, uh, though role of oxygen is very limited in this electron transport system but it is a very important part 
and if oxygen will not be present then it will uh, do anaerobic respiration so everything is important and uh, if NAD, uh, any dh2 is there then uh, 3 atp production will be there and if we are having uh, fadh2 then there will be 2 atp production so that's all thanks for watching